Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Light India. In this video, we are going to discuss session second for the series that we have started for AWS AI practitioner certificate questions. In this video, we are starting with question number 11. A company want to build an ML model by using Amazon SageMaker. The company need to share and manage variables for model development across multiple teams. Which SageMaker feature meet these requirement? Here are the options. Amazon SageMaker Feature Store, Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler, Amazon SageMaker Clarify, Amazon SageMaker Model Cards. Take your time to guess the correct answer. Option A will be the correct answer. Amazon SageMaker Feature Store. This is because it ensures all teams have access to a centralized store of features, improving consistency and collaboration in ML workflows. Now question number 12. A company want to use generative AI to increase developer productivity and software development. The company want to use Amazon Q developer. What can Amazon Q developer do to help the company meet these requirement? Here are the options. Create software snippets, reference tracking, and open source license tracking. Option B, run an application without provisioning or managing servers. Option C, enable voice command for coding and providing natural language search. Option D, convert audio files to text document by using ML models. So I'm going to reveal the correct answer here. The correct answer here will be option A, create software snippets, reference tracking and open source license tracking. This is because Amazon Q developer is a generative AI tool designed to assist developer by increasing productivity. It helps in generating software snippets, automating reference tracking and managing open source licenses, which directly benefits the software development lifecycle. Now question number 13. A financial institution is using Amazon Bedrock to develop an AI application. The application is hosted in a VPC. To meet regulatory compliance standard, the VPC is not allowed to access any internet traffic. Which AWS service or feature will meet these requirement? So the options are AWS Private Link, Amazon Meshi, Amazon CloudFront, Internet Gateway. And it may be the obvious answer for you because whenever the VPC is not allowed to access any internet traffic, the correct answer will be AWS private link because it is used to securely access AWS services from a VPC without exposing traffic to the public internet. And due to this reason, it ensures compliance and regulatory standard that prohibit internet access as all the communication will happen over the private AWS network and internet gateway also use the public internet so it is also not beneficial. Now question number 14, a company want to develop an educational game where users answer questions such as the following, a jar contains 6 red, 4 green and 3 yellow marbles. What is the probability of choosing a green marble from the jar? Which solution meet this requirement with the least operational overhead? Here are the options. Use supervised learning to create a regression model that will predict the probability. Option B. Use reinforcement learning to train a model to return the probability. Option C. Use code that will calculate the probability by using simple rules and computations. Option D. Use supervised learning to create a model that will estimate probability density. So it will be quite surprising here because we are discussing about AI and the options that are related to AI are supervised learning option A, reinforcement learning option B, unsupervised learning option D. But the correct answer here will be option C, use code that will calculate probability by using simple rules and computation. because. Here the keyword is least operational overhead and the answer is 
to use simple code because it can meet our requirement. We are not supposed to give any fancy answer like supervised learning or reinforcement learning. Like if simple code can fulfill our requirement, we are not supposed to use the AI because of this keyword, list operational overhead. Now question number 15, which metric measure the runtime efficiency of the operating AI models? Here are the options, customer satisfaction score CSAT, option B, training time for each epoch, option C, average response time, option D, number of training instances. Take your time to guess the answer. So correct answer here will be option C, average response time, because it measures how quickly an AI model produces predictions or outputs during the runtime. So it makes it key metric for evaluating the runtime efficiency of AI model. Now question number 16, a company is building a contact center application and want to gain insights from customer conversation. The company want to analyze and extract key information from the audio of the customer calls. Which solution meet this requirement? Option A, build a conversational chatbot by using Amazon Lex. Option B, transcribe call recording by using Amazon Transcribe. Option C, extract information from call recording by using Amazon SageMaker model monitor. Option D, create classification label by using Amazon Comprehend. So you may be confused between option A and B, but you can take your time to guess the correct answer. So correct answer here will be option B, transcribe call recording by using Amazon transcribe because the keyword here is from the audio of the customer. So whenever we want to convert that audio into the text, we have to use transcribe. So by using the Amazon transcribe, we will be able to convert the audio into the text. Then we can use the text in whatever format or whatever tool that we want. Now question number 17, a company has petabyte of unlabeled customer data to use for an advertisement campaign. The company want to classify its customer into tiers to advertise and promote the company's product. Which methodology should the company use to meet this requirement? And options are supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, reinforcement learning from human feedback. So it must be quite simple for you because the keyword here is unlabeled data and we know wherever unlabeled data is used, it is unsupervised learning. If it is labeled data, then supervised learning is there. And if learning is from the surroundings or the continuous feedback, then it is reinforcement learning. Wherever the learning from the environment is there, it is reinforcement learning. So correct answer here will be unsupervised learning. Now question number 18, an AI practitioner want to use a foundational model to design a search application. The search application must handle the queries that have text and images. Which type of FM model should the AI practitioner use to power the search application? So here are the options. Multimodal embedding model, text embedding model, option C, multimodal generation model, option D, image generation model. So take your time to guess the correct answer. So the correct answer here will be option A, multimodal embedding model. Because it is specifically designed to process and understand various types of data, including text and images. And by converting both text and images inputs into numerical representations, it enables the model to compare and understand the relationship between them. So option A is correct here. Now question number 19th. A company uses a foundational model from Amazon Bedrock for an AI search tool. The company wants to fine tune the model to be more accurate by using company's data, which strategy will successfully fine tune the model. 
ऑप्शन ए प्रोवाइड लेबल डेटा विद द प्रोम्प्ट फील्ड एंड द कंप्लीशन फील्ड ऑप्शन बी प्रिपेयर द ट्रेनिंग डेटा सेट बाय क्रिएटिंग ए डॉट टेक्स्ट फाइल दैट कंटेन्स मल्टीपल लाइंस इन डॉट सी फॉर्मेट ऑप्शन सी परचेज प्रोविजन थ्रूपुट फॉर एमेजॉन बेड्रॉप ऑप्शन डी ट्रेन द मॉडल ऑन जर्नल्स एंड टेक्स्ट बुक टेकिंग ए पोज so now the correct answer here will be option a provide label data with prompt field and the completion field because fine tuning a foundation model involves providing label training data where each example consist of a prompt that is the input to the model and a completion that is the desired output here the prompt means the input to the model and completion means the desired output so this structure helps the model learn a specific pattern or behavior tailored to the company's data and the use case now question number 20 a company want to use ai to protect its application from threats the ai solution need to check if an ip address is from a suspicious source we solution meet these requirements here are the options build a speech recognition system create a natural language processing named entity recognition system develop an anomaly detection system option d create a fraud forecasting system so the correct answer here will be option c develop an anomaly detection system because an anomaly detection system is designed to identify unusual pattern or behavior within the data so it will help us to find the suspicious source so this was all in this video thanks for watching this video have a great learning